I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. In Sullivan County, a driver has been arrested on alcohol-related charges after his car veered off a road in the town of Lumberland and slammed into a tree, killing a passenger and seriously injuring two others. It happened at around 3 this morning off a Herring Road in near Glen Spey. The names of the victims had not been released pending notification of relatives. Sullivan County Under Sheriff Eric Shabodi says the male front seat passenger was killed and two people in the back seat of the Mercedes Benz were airlifted to Westchester Medical Center's trauma unit where the man's in critical condition and the woman is in serious condition. Keep checking back here at Record Online for updated information. The economic struggles impacting many in our area may have been a major reason why frayed nerves and hot tempers erupted yesterday during the annual Toys for Tots giveaway in uh, Kingston, sponsored by the Marine Corps Reserve. Hundreds of people stood in line for hours to get toys being distributed at the Kingston Holiday Inn. And while many waited patiently, others argued over people cutting in line and the length of time it was taking. Rumors of toys running out added to the angry mood. Officials say the poor economy increased the number of people seeking holiday help. In the past three years, uh, an average of about 3,500 children received Christmas presents through the Ulster County program. Governor Andrew Cuomo continues to ride a wave of popularity. A Quinnipiac University poll released today shows the governor with a 68% approval rating, his highest point during his first year in office. The polls questioned more than 1,100 state residents earlier this month. Over half of uh, those polled gave Cuomo a grade of B this year. The 68% approval rating is the highest for a governor since a post-9-11 poll for then-Governor uh, George Pataki. The former owner of a movie theater complex in Monroe now faces prison time when he sentenced in April after pleading guilty to charges of wire fraud and securities fraud. Norman Addy admitted to uh, misusing more than a half million dollars in investor funds Addy had opened the Monroe business in 2008, but financial and legal troubles led to foreclosure and the charges that he'd built investors who gave him money for other business ventures. More than 700 people attended Monday's funeral service in Milford for Reverend Gerald Mullally at St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Milford, the church where Mullally had served as parish priest since 1988. Mullally died at home last week. He was 61 years old. Reverend Mullally had gone on a mission to Haiti following that country's devastating earthquake. He was to be buried in a private ceremony uh, today. It was the second loss uh, suffered by the church in the past month. Deacon Cliff Jorgensen died November 27th. Coming soon to a school near you, maybe. The Warwick-based Transtech Bus Company is set to uh, launch full production of its 42-passenger uh, electric school bus, the E-Trans, it is battery powered with a range of between 45 and 120 miles per charge, targeting uh, school districts with short, defined, repetitive bus routes. A full recharge uh, takes uh, less than eight hours and it travels at a top speed of 50 miles an hour. Reporter John Sullivan will have more on the green alternative to diesel powered school buses in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. Well, odds are the three daughters of Matthew Albrecht of uh, Rhinebeck We'll have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, Father Matt, a 75-year-old retired IBMer, uh, bought a second prize Mega Millions ticket last Friday at a store in the town of Ulster, making him a quarter of a million dollars richer. Albrecht says he'll share half his windfall with his daughters. The rest will go to charity and for some home improvements. Merry Christmas! <laughs> and a special guest arrived in Port Jervis this morning, Santa Claus and his elf helper, showed up uh, with bags of wrapped gifts, much to the delight of the kids in the Port Jervis Head Start program. Santa's toys were donated uh, through a local auto club. Head Start has been in operation uh, since uh, 1985 in Port and holds classes in the basement of St. Peter's Lutheran Church. Currently, 49 kids between the ages of 3 and 5 attend the preschool classes. Head Start also provides services to the low-income families whose children attend. And judging by the kids' reaction this morning, it is safe to say the kids are more than ready for Santa's return Christmas Eve. 
Milder weather will stay with us for a while. Wednesday will be cloudy with periods of rain. The highs, though, will uh, be up around 50 degrees. Thursday will be partly sunny, and temperatures should again reach the 50 degree level. When news breaks, you will find it here at Record Online and read all about the day's developments in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.